Hey everyone, I'm Marmothy and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, let's continue where we left off. I'm about to finish some side training, which includes Girard. I need that to work. Great, don't fail his training. That's kind of annoying. Let's send him again then. I need him to be able to use the neural gunling, which is why he's training. So, some inspiration. Girard is next. I need that one to not fail. Come on. And it worked. Okay, good. Let's send a new person then. I don't think I'm going to train any new Sonic soldiers because I want to have some potential mech troopers just in case one of mine gets killed. So I'm not going to train any of these people. Although I could train this guy because I definitely won't be using snipers as mech troopers. So it would be nice to be able to use the neural gun link on him. Okay, let's train him. And keep scanning. EMP cannon is almost done. Oh, new recruit, support. And I don't need alien surgeries. Okay, let's go for it. I could use other supports. I don't have a lot of supports. And I definitely don't want to run out of supports. That would be bad. Or medics in this case. Where is he? Oh yeah. Or she in this case. 33 aim, 5 hit points. Almost a shame to use her as a medic. I could go for random. I don't know, but I need more medics. I want more medics. If I get a high rank medic while having enough medics in the future, I might use one as a mech trooper. I'm not doing it right now because I could actually realistically run out of medics to use in missions if I chop one. So I'm definitely not going to do that until I feel safe about my roster. It's easily one of the most important classes. I don't want to ever do a mission without a medic. I don't have that many. I have Girard right now. I have Lois. Aditya. This guy isn't really a proper medic. Because he doesn't have the skills. He's more of a support. I have some corporal medics still. I also got Lucas. I could not use that promotion yet. And just use it later. I mean, I can pick the class any moment I want. Or I can go random any moment I want. I don't have to do it now. Yeah, okay, let's not do it right now. I'll just keep her there in the barracks. EMP cannon is done. Now I can equip my last fire storm for now. At least it's going to be the last one for now. I will need more eventually, but now I have a fire storm with EMP cannon on every continent. Well, except Africa, but I don't control anything in Africa. Let's keep scanning then. I don't think I have any Elerium right now. 22 Elerium, which isn't really enough to do anything. Can I start any research with that? I could research compact plasma weapons, but I think I'll wait for heavy plasma weapons. So let's keep scanning. Overseer. Oh, now I could try to shoot down an Overseer, or maybe not. Right. Wrong continent. Okay, keep scanning. Maybe next time. Destroy satellite, that's not very nice. Do I want to use an interceptor with zero kills? I guess I can try. Then I can send a firestorm in case I fail to shoot it down right now. It is a fighter, not a scout. So it will have quite a bit of damage. We destroyed it. No crash site. Okay. Keep scanning then. That's a backup satellite, in case you're wondering. Another scout this time. Let's send this guy to get 10 kills. This will probably destroy it though. But hey, who knows? Let's find out. And it's down. Yep, we destroyed it. That's okay. Let's keep scanning. Another request. Two scientists and a weapons recruit. Yeah, I'll go for that. How many soldiers do I have in my barracks? 80. Okay. Where's that guy then? Is he any good? 67 aim. 4 hit points, 12 mobility. Yeah, their mobility is kind of bad. Both my new recruits have 12 mobility. Which is not fantastic. I could use her as a gunner, I suppose. 
I often use two gunners per mission, so I do need quite a few gunners on my roster. Alright, let's use her as a gunner, why not? So, hit ammo, 26 aim, that's fine. And keep scanning. Plasma Storm Gun is done, that's my second one. That will definitely be useful. I'll take the engineers, why not? Assault Carrier. Right, this will be a terror mission. I don't think I can shoot this thing down. That's incredibly unlikely. I can try to do some damage, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. So that's going to be another terror mission. I can try, I wouldn't mind getting some fusion cores. Let's actually use a dodge boost. It's unlikely that I'll succeed. But I'm doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, this is a little bit too dangerous. It didn't work. I could send my fighters. Or interceptors, I mean. I did a lot of damage. Oh, the terror mission started. Okay. So, that's Argentina again. Right. Okay, let's send that Firestorm to another continent. Because South America gets a lot of activity. I would prefer to have it in Asia, for example. And I can send this guy to South America. Like so. I should shuffle some of these around a bit more. So, send this one to Europe. And... Rename this. And send one of these guys back to Asia. Okay, looks good. Let's do that terror mission then. Shame I didn't shoot down that ship, but Assault Carrier is the hardest one to shoot down. So that was fairly unlikely, but I still wanted to try. I'll need some fusion cores at some point, and these are really hard to get. Okay, Bella will be the officer, because this might be a tough mission. I need a strong squad for this one, that's for sure. I will bring William and Valentina and Bagels. Carry. Yeah, I need a strong squad. Three more. I need a medic. I could bring Girard. To get more Sonic experience. Yep. And for his Sonic abilities, obviously. Okay, he's coming. Two more. Now I could bring someone on his experience. Maybe. Some gunnery sergeant. I could bring Arpit, I could bring Holly with some grenades. And one more person. Did I bring a gunner? Yes, I brought Valentina. So I can take a second gunner or infantry. Let's see. I could just bring Annette. Sounds good to me. But then I don't really need Girard. I could replace Girard with someone else. Let's see, Aditya maybe? Yeah, okay, Aditya can join. Or how about Lucas? He's a sergeant still. He's pretty close to promotion. Let's bring Lucas, why not? So, make items available. And let's give them proper gear. So, pulse lance. Grenade launcher, flamethrower. Same as always for bagels. Bella. She needs titan armor for sure. And probably just a regular pulse life roll. She doesn't need walker servos. She needs extra hit points. Maybe chem grenades. I might need chem grenades for this mission. So she can take that. Enhanced beam optics. That's not a terrible idea. I could also give her a backup medkit. You know, just in case. Lucas gets critically wounded, which is definitely not impossible. I'll give her a backup medkit. That definitely won't hurt. Alright, so... That's Bella. Next up, Valentina. Gatling Pulsar, obviously. EG's Armor. No, not Neural Gunlink. Armor Piercing, Scope, and Alloy Bipod. Okay, looks good. William. Right. Corsair Armor, that's for sure. Paul Sniper, he can take a Blaster. Actually, he won't really need a blaster. Now, I want to maximize his aim, so I can give him a scope and a neural gun link. And if I want to maximize his damage, I could also give him enhanced beam optics. He needs to actually get kills to trigger in the zone. So that extra damage might help. Next up, Kenny. Titan armor. 
Piaté vlastné. Impact vest. Breaching ammo. And she doesn't need a medkit. I have a backup medkit on Bella. So she could just take... Chitin plating, I suppose. Yeah. My souls tend to take a lot of damage recently, so... I could also use a ghost grenade. I could give a ghost grenade to Lucas, but then I will only have 5 medkits on him. Which is not great. But I want to bring at least one ghost grenade. Or I could give ghost grenade to someone else. He will only have one because he doesn't have smoke and mirrors. Yeah, I think I'll pass. So who can bring a ghost grenade? Annette could bring a ghost grenade. That's not a terrible idea. Okay. That's only one, but... I want to have that one ghost grenade, at least. Neural gun link? Actually, I can just give her a scope and kite plating. Sounds good. And kite plating. Titan armor, obviously. And pulse rifle. Okay, looks good. 23 hit points. And a ghost grenade and a scope. Looks good to me. Now. Do I need anything else? I think I'm fine. Do I really want that arc thrower? Probably not. Not really. No, I don't. I think I prefer more grenades. Yeah, six grenades for a mission like this. It's really not that much. I used all the titan armor. I'm just checking. Alright, I guess I'm ready. Do I want any more backup medkits? One should be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. Famous last wars. I could always replace Neural Gun Link or something. On William. But I really don't think that's going to be necessary. Alright, let's go. This looks fine. I'm not using storm guns because I don't think I'm going to need them all that much. Not for this mission at least. Touching down. This might be a pretty tough mission. And yeah, it's Argentina again. That probably means Argentina will leave the council again. Aliens really like Argentina. It's pretty hard to break this cycle. Unless I get a council mission in Argentina with significant panic reduction. That's what it will take. Some way to reduce panic level in Argentina, otherwise the aliens will just keep spamming terror missions every time I get Argentina back. Right, well this is definitely a new landing zone. I'm not even sure which map this is. Oh, okay. I know which map this is. Right. This is an awkward landing zone. Yeah, this is the new Foundland map. And I started on the ship. Interesting. Hey, that's not a bad start. That will give me some nice high ground. But this is a massive map. So if most of the civilians are on the other side of the map, it's going to be tough to save any. Oh yeah, there will be a chrysalid in that shark. Even though this is not the council mission. Okay, well, let's set up then. William. He should probably be somewhere on here. And he will stay up there. Yep. He might even stay there for this entire mission, but we'll see how it goes. Bella, I'll just move into cover. Valentina. He should be somewhere in the front. And Annette. Same story, I guess. Alright, no aliens yet. Overwatch. Bring it on. I do have that telekinetic field on Annette and I have distortion field. So my defenses are pretty decent. And yeah, there's a civilian on the right side, but that's just one guy. I can hear some chrysalids. I actually want some more chrysalid corpses. So maybe make one more chitin plating. Okay, let's move. I'll send bagels first. He can scout ahead and see what's going on. Looks clear so far. Okay. That makes me a little bit nervous. Running. Bella. I need my assault in the front. So carry. 
I would like her to stay in cover though. So somewhere around here. This is apparently cover. Okay, that's fine. Alright, William will stay up here. And Valentina will probably stay up here as well. Yeah, I see no reason to move her. Yep, I could move her to the left side maybe, but I don't think that's going to make a big difference. Not when I don't know where the aliens are. The cover is a little bit awkward here. I need to be careful. Because sometimes it seems some element will count as cover, but it actually doesn't. Lucas, it should probably be somewhere in the front. Let's go there. And I think that's it. And Holly. She's the one with the grenades, so she needs to be somewhere in the front though. And now I can use Steady Weapon. Once she finishes her move. Oh, okay. Actually triggered some chrysalis. That wasn't necessarily what I wanted. But okay. Well, this is kind of awkward. Bagels. Rapid fire. Okay. That might be a kill, actually. I revealed, like, a few tiles of the fog. Which was enough, I guess. Okay, one down. 100%. 45% chance to crit. Well, if I get a crit, that will be a kill. No, it won't be. That's only 13 critical. Okay, I should probably move out of the way. Yep. Heading to that location. To be far enough from the chrysalids. I can still kill one, possibly. I could throw a ghost grenade, but that would be a massive waste. I'm not going to do that. And that's a kill. Okay, two chrysalids down. And we got more aliens incoming? No. That's just probably aliens killing civilians on the other side of the map. Unfortunately, one of these chrysalids will go for the civilian. Probably. He almost definitely will. Oh yeah, close command specialist. And missed. That is not good. Because of like, the reflexes. Okay, that's fine. They weren't close enough to attack me. Yeah, this one will kill the civilian, that's for sure. That's to be expected. Bye. And that will be a zombie. Right, but only two chrysalids left. That shouldn't be a problem. Come on. Why is the camera jumping around? There aren't any more aliens here. What are you doing, camera? Stop. Oh, okay. Some civilian moved there. Right. Let's get some kills. At least I can kind of choose who's going to get the kills. I would like some kills on Annette, that's for sure. And maybe Lucas. But someone needs to do the damage first. And I definitely want to kill that chrysalid on the other side. I'll get the holo targeting up on both. So, like this. And I'll do some damage. So that the others can get actual kills. Now Annette can get a kill easily. Probably. Yeah, that should be a kill. If not with the first shot, then with the second one. It's a kill with the first shot. And now she can either reload or use Overwatch. What about that chrysalid on the other side? Can I hit it with someone who actually needs experience? Holly can try to hit it. I need 6 damage. Well, I need to hit, basically. Come on. Okay, that's a kill. And that's it. Reload. I'll just reload. Good moment to reload. There are no aliens around. And they might come. There is a zombie, but I'm not worried about that, obviously. I should save at least one civilian, probably that guy on the right side. But dashing towards him would be a bad idea. And that should be a hit. Yep, 12 damage. Come on. Another shot? Oh yeah, Bella. And that's a kill. So much for that zombie. Yeah, he's down. I noticed. So that's one group down, and there's a civilian a little bit closer. There are two civilians here. Three civilians in this area. I can try to save them. But I don't want to dash. 
Okay, let's go. Holly should have the best mobility here. Well, I suppose I could dash because this is full cover, but if I trigger another group of chrysalids, that will end poorly. Gotcha. Alright, it's fine. I saved one person. Success! Now, keep moving this way. Alright, let's keep moving this way. Enemy yep, another group. Zombies? Alright. I guess I don't mind. Okay. I should get a shark out of one of these sharks. I mean, a chrysalid. Because that did happen in a terror mission that I did on this map before. I heal you. So that's why I assume it will happen even though this is not the actual council mission on this map. Well, I guess I'll just use Overwatch here. They will move towards me. Or they will move towards civilians in that area. This is a pretty big map. Which is a bit of a problem when it's a terror mission. Because if the civilians are mostly on the other side of the map, they will die. There's no way around that. Okay, secrets. And missed. That looks like a pretty easy group. Show me their hit points. Okay, there's one big seeker, but that shouldn't be a problem. Not with Valentina in here. And missed. Twice. Adjusting sights. Yeah, you do that. Come on, hit at least once. No? Okay, then. That is a lot of hit points on that seeker, though. Come on, hit at least once. That would be great. Okay, he hit. I would be surprised if he didn't. He has, like, what, 120-ish aim? He still didn't have 100% chance to hit with the reaction shot, though. Can I get my turn yet? That would be great. The zombies are coming, but they are slow. I don't think I want to use explosives here. Probably not. Come on, now. Are we there yet? Stop yelling, you'll be fine. Or not. But I have other problems right now. <laughs> I'm not going to save you. Well, let's save this person right here. Yeah, get out of here. You didn't need me to tell you that, actually. Alright, move back. Probably won't do anything useful on this turn other than save that civilian. Valentina. Yeah, I should definitely hit the big seeker, that's for sure. Why can I not target the big seeker? Are you serious? How do I not have line of sight to the big seeker? That's actually insane. I don't have line of sight to this seeker with Valentina? Are you serious right now? That's actually insane. That's actually insane. How does she not have line of sight to that? Well, apparently she doesn't, so whatever. I'll target some other Seekers, and maybe the zombie. Yeah. This is really weird, because she has three targets in theory, but I can't target the other two. I can't click on this. I can't tab the other targets. Seems like a weird glitch. She should definitely have line of sight to at least one, if not two secrets here. I guess I'll shoot the zombie. I don't have a big choice there. At least I got a nice crit. So, Annette. can shoot twice if I don't move. I need hollow targeting on that big seeker, that would be nice. So, who can make that happen? Bella can make that happen. Yep. And I guess I can just use rapid fire. Only 43% chance to hit. I'm not sure if I can kill that big sticker. I'll need to hit when it matters. Now I can shoot twice with Annette. And I need to hit at least once. I need my assault to kill that seeker. 68%? Yeah, only 3 damage. My girls can't use rapid fire, unfortunately. But he can still shoot twice. I have to say, I kind of regret picking up rapid fire. Because having enough ammunition for two shots 
doesn't allow you to use rapid fire, which is a little bit weird. At least that only happens in case of mech troopers. Okay, that was not very good damage. Now I have to use run and gun. Not because I need the range, but because I need killer instinct. I don't want to move too close. But I want to have a high chance to hit. So this is a bit awkward. I could move up here. Or here. This should be good enough. This should give me a pretty high chance to hit. Oh, great. Well, I had to move here. I really didn't have a big choice there. And I still want to kill that Seeker. What can I actually do here? Not a whole lot. Well, I definitely want to kill that Seeker, so let's do that. Yeah, 11 damage reduction. And that's a kill. Right. Well, this is awkward. I have Lucas and I have William. Kerry will be mostly fine because she has Impact Vest. Which gives her Shock Absorbed Armor. So she will be fine, but she will take some damage. I guess I'll just shoot the ones in the front. I mean, what else can I do? Not a whole lot. I can probably kill one. Yeah, I can kill one. I can't see the hit points because I can't move the camera anymore. This is the slightly annoying part of targeting. You can't actually see what exactly you're targeting sometimes. That's a kill. Now I got one more shot. I would need to get a really good crit right here. I can kill that zombie that will trigger in the zone again. So bye. One more shot. I could just reload right now. Alright, let's reload. And one more shot now. This won't be a kill. Unless... No, I can't get 16 critical. I, I don't think so. 12. Well, that will have to do.